Well, Dean, they always say that goalkeepers enjoy penalty shootouts, and you must have enjoyed that one this evening. Yeah, of course. It's, you know, for us, it's uh, there's a pressure on the penalty taker, and uh, it's a chance to become a hero. And you know, I, I back myself. I'm a confident p- person, and uh, I just felt, you know, that when I went in there, that I was going to make a save, and you know, that was my job. You know, coming on in whatever it was, 75th minute, to try and make an impact, and thankfully I did that. And uh, you know, it's a credit to them as well because they had a few good penalties to start off with. But um, you know, I'm just delighted to have saved a couple and helped the team get through. I was going to say, first three, you couldn't really get anywhere near, could you? No, they were brilliant. I actually said to the goalkeeper, "You guys have been practicing penalties all week," uh, but had a bit of bands with him. But you know, that's just the way it goes. He made two two saves as well, I think, and. Uh, or one save and one went over the bar, you know, and that's just the way it goes. And today it went for me, and you know, I'm just I'm delighted. Did you feel a bit more pressure because we Stevenage were going second, and and you were follow each time you were following up a Sutton player that had just missed? Um, no, I just concentrated on, uh, on on the penalty taker, watched his movements, and just went with my with my gut feeling. Really, uh, that's what it is on penalties. Uh, you, you pick a side, you try and make yourself as big as you can on that side and then uh, and then hopefully it's close enough for you to, to make a save. And after Ben had absolutely walloped the sixth one in, it made, gave you the chance then to be the match, the match winner with the next one. Yeah, it was. Uh, I actually thought that uh, that we had to take another penalty to win the game. I uh, miscounted. Um, and then, then the lads started up. running over yeah. and then I thought, <laughs> yeah, okay, it must be over now. So... Uh, no, the main thing was today that we uh, we went through. It wasn't the prettiest performance, uh, but we're in the hat for the next round. That's the main thing. You had to come on as a substitute tonight. We don't often see substitute goalkeepers. Was it a difficult game to come, particularly with the wind blowing straight down? Was it a difficult game to come on to? Yeah, of course. It was a sudden thing. Um, you know, I had to do a quick warm-up, and then, you know, there's no really time to think. Uh, you don't feel like you do as if you're going to do a proper warm-up before the game, but... Once you're out there, you do your bit to, to get warm, uh, whether it's running around the pitch or, or doing what you get uh, have to do to, to feel right. Uh, but it just happened so quick that within, I don't know, a minute or so, I was on the pitch. So, um, yeah. And when, when you had to save in normal time, that one that was whipped in from the right wing after Ben's, Ben's original clearance, it must have had the wind behind it by the time it got to you. Yeah, it was a it was a great block from Ben. Fantastic block because he's in. Um, you know that, that's what that's what he's about. He puts his body in the line. You know, he's been fantastic for us all year. Same with Louis John and, and the whole back four. You know they they've helped me out just as much as I've tried to help them out as well. You know they they they're resilient and that's what we're about. Uh, and then obviously the balls come in afterwards, but Ben was right in front of me, so I don't think he can be offside. But yeah, he just had to make the save. And. You said it wasn't, wasn't a great game. I said to Matt earlier, the fact that it wasn't a great game, we've come through, as, as Sutton don't, haven't often done recently, on a penalty shootout, so it, must, it sort of changes the mood so much for not a great game, but we've won and everybody's really up for it. Of course. You know, the best teams in the world, like, you know, if you want to be successful, when you're not playing well, you've got to grind out a result. You know, not everything's going to be pretty, not everything's going to be the way that you think the game's going to pan out. Um, and, you know, today wasn't a pretty game say the weather you can say it's down to ourselves whatever it might be but the main thing was to get through to the next stage mm. and that's what we did and after Christmas last last 16 um, in theory just three games three games away from a game uh, match at Wembley of course and for, you know, that's the goal but you've got to focus on the next game I know it's a cliche but you know we'll yeah. be in the hat for the next Rovers. round oh, it's already been done no no no, no. Bristol, oh, Rovers, yeah. Bristol Rovers is Saturday in the FA Cup yeah so we'll, we'll play Bristol and then we'll see who we get in the next round and once that game comes around we'll uh We'll focus on that um, with the end prize being Wembley. So for us, it's just one game at a time. Keep progressing, keep getting better, and, and that's the main thing. Well, well done tonight, Dean. Made an exciting finish to the to the game and on the winning side. Well done. Appreciate it. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers.